Hello again, everyone. Welcome to North Dakota Today. My name is Mike Morkin, and uh, I'm sure you folks at home are asking, uh, what is he doing at the Cash Way uh, Kitchen with Chef Randall? And I'm about to find out. And yeah, you're gonna what, guide what are you me. doing here? I do not know at this point. So please, <laughs> allow your expertise to guide me through this. I all right? Guide you. Don't worry. Okay. No. So we are going to make in this in this first episode here uh, a. Italian calamari salad, is that's that correct. correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, we, we call that antipasti. Antipasti. Okay. Antipasti. Right. So, um, yeah, we have some ingredients here. We have uh, some calamari, some squid. We have some bell peppers. Uh, and then we have a little dressing that we're going to make when we get this cooked. So uh, one thing I just wanted to kind of show people real quick is that, A, make sure you take your stickers off your food. I'm sure that we've all kind of found that, you know, we're cutting something and all of a sudden, oh, there's the sticker. But I see a lot of people struggle with the bell pepper. And there's a lot of ways to do it. You know, I just find that, you know, there's a, you know, sometimes, you know, just, you know, if I show people just a little bit, way, you know, some different ways of doing things, you know, you don't really have to do a whole lot of, you know, picking and cutting and all kinds of things like that. And so, they say a sharp knife is A sharp knife crucial. is very, very important. Yeah. So I'm going to have you dice that. Um, so I'm going to have you cut it down in strips. Okay. And we'll gather all the strips. You'll notice I'm left-handed. Yep, I do. Now, the only thing you want to make sure is you keep your fingers out of the way. That's really important. Yes. Yeah. Don't All want right. to leave that So here. while Mike cuts the pepper, we've already done some over here. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the, the calamari. So calamari squid, uh, it is, we have both the tentacles and we have the tubes or the body. Uh, now, today, most of those things are going to come into you uh, already cut, you know, already, already gutted, and then there's a little quill in there that you take out that's a skeleton. Uh, but you, typically you don't see that now. So if you're going to go to the grocery store and you see these frozen, that's usually done ahead of time. Now, if you see tubes and tentacles, that's going to mean that the body's in, intact, and then the tentacles are, are, are apart from that. Uh, sometimes they also have it cut into rings already. Sometimes it'll be already cooked. So just kind of make sure that when you're looking at this, um, you kind of get an idea of what you're buying. How um, long is this program? Because I'm slow at this. You're doing just fine. Am I? Yeah, you're doing just fine. Okay. On the tentacle itself, there's a couple of feelers that go out, and they're a little long. The thing is that there's really nothing really wrong with them, but they're just kind of, you know, not the prettiest thing in the world. So I like to you take those what? off. You know what? You hit it right on the head with that one. <laughs> so, so then, uh, and, and it, for, for a lot of people, and maybe me especially, texture is a big thing. Sure, sure. And, you know, um, so one of the things is that if you go to a restaurant and you've had calamari, usually you have it frozen, it's breaded and, fro and, and fried, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and uh, and temp typically sometimes it can be very easily overcooked. So it gets very rubbery. Um, you know, I think that calamari has a very subtle flavor, uh, but when you do overcook it, 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 it can be, you know, kind of a little tough. Okay, we'll have okay. to watch and see how you do it then. Yeah, okay. so what we're going to do is we're going um, to boil some of this stuff here. Now, I want to make sure that my, my um, water is seasoned, so I'm going to add our bell peppers in first. And the reason I'm going to add those bell peppers in first is that actually they're going to cook a, just a little bit more than our calamari, oddly enough. There's two reasons I'm, I'm kind of cooking the, the, the bell pepper. One is I want to kind of bleach any um, coloring that might come off it in the salad so we don't get these weird kind of red, green, and yellow streaks. Okay. Uh, secondly is I just want to soften them up a little bit. All right, so now that uh, that's in there, I'm going to add in our calamari. So I'm, I've got that seasoned. I'm waiting for it to come to a boil. And then I'm going to add that in. Now, I've already cut these into strips. And then I'm going to add the tentacles as well. Holy smooth. Now, so we're going to let this cook for about... I know. It's just, I'm a hamburger guy. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yeah, okay. So we're going to let this cook for maybe about a minute, minute and a half. So when we come back, we're going to have this cooked and cooled. And then we're going to make a dressing and we put it all together. Okay. Fair enough? All right. So let's take a break. And we'll be back and do just what he said right Excellent. after this.